Blue Jays fans, as you know, Bo Bichette, he kind of started off a little slow this spring, and he's been coming on here a little bit of late. We've got a 2-1 count, bottom of the third inning. Kirby kicks and fires. Oh, my. This ball's got a chance. Gone. Home run, second deck. Bo Bichette, go and touch them all. Blue Jays are up three to nothing. Can we get someone from the security team to go take a look, do a uh, wellness check on everyone in that second deck? Because that Bichette bomb just landed. Greetings and welcome to the sports card ripping teacher. That's right, Bo Bichette, he went yard yesterday. Now my day is Saturday, but I told you, when I see a player starting to take some walks, he's seeing the ball well. We've got our Bichette cards here. They'll be going into the um, prize pool. So um, some people did comment on the Tuesday video as well. I'll take it. But you got to comment on either the Monday or the Tuesday, which I'm giving the free pass because I didn't have the prizes on the Monday video. So I get it. I'll get the Monday one and the Tuesday video. Uh, in class here today, got my master's Friday. One of my students noticed, hey, isn't that the state of Illinois? You're right, this was a little variation we had a couple years ago for Masters Friday with the Illinois in there and, and the flag. But today I told the students about the Champions Dinner where the only way you get invited is if you've won the Masters. And Phil's kind of like that old guy that tells the same jokes over and over, but he'll kind of go up to someone who has not won the Masters and say, hey, you want to you know, grab some dinner Tuesday night? And it, oh, yeah, dinner with Phil Mickelson, all, all the stories. And then Phil tells a story, and he's like, oh, I thought you won the Masters. No, okay, yeah, you're you're not invited. So uh, go ahead and take a look at John Rahm's menu if you want to. I'm going to open up a pack of golf cards here before class is in session. Graham and I opened up some Bowman U yesterday. And Michelle Wee West, she is married, so that is why... I was a little stumbled there for a second. Matthew Fitzpatrick, I put Fitzy on the hot seat. He did go to uh, Northwestern University here in um, Evanston. And he's a fine player, just has not won the big one. Oh, man, people are going to like this Duff Daddy right there. Waggle and waggle for days. There's Billy Ho, Billy Horschel. Got a little sparkly coming up. Joel Damon, who just won. He is a journeyman right there, Joel Damon. If you like golf, you like Joel Damon. Love that sparkle on the Dazzlers right there. Rachel Heck on the Young Guns. I got to do a little bit of research on her. Julie Inkster, she's a Hall of Famer. She may do TTMs. Sewoo Kim, who we had yesterday. If it's a Pete Dye golf course, which those courses are difficult, but Sewu Kim always plays them well. So remember that, folks. And Victor Perez right there. I love this Joel Damon card. He's fresh off of a uh, victory right there on the Dazzers. Not a Connor Bedard, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, class is in session. Today is April 10th. It's lesson 148, and it goes out to... It would have been John Madden's birthday. Imagine John Madden announcing the Masters. That would be awesome. All right, let's see what Graham and I got. Why are you wearing a stocking cap in the house on one of the warmer days of the year? It's my nightly, nightly routine. What is your nightly routine? Oh, so first, you come out of the shower, you got to put on your lotion, which that's what my mom says. She, she does tell really you, yeah, she doesn't get on you about that. Mm -hmm. you, you get that scaly skin sometimes, and that's not what you want. So why, why are you wearing a hat? Okay, so you do not dry your hair off at all. Then you find a stocking hat. I took the one with the ball on top. He's just nice and fuzzy. And then you get it. You gotta like crinkle it a little bit. You know what? Just move it around. And then by the morning, it'll be all dry. And it'll be a little bit fluffy. Well, that's good. I, mm -hmm. I need a haircut, actually. My hair goes from being just fine to very scruffy. So I gotta find my way to get a haircut. So enough of the hair tips, that's for sure. Here we are here. Why don't you open up both of these? Mm -hmm. We're doing our Bowman U. We got two packs here. And we will look up and see where some players may get drafted here in a couple of weeks. Bonex. Oh, Bonex. Nice. Oh, man, hold on here. So we are going to look him up. Bo Nix, Joe Alt, that could be a first round right there mm -hmm. at the University of Notre Dame. Antonio Gates Jr., who I remember watching Antonio Gates play for the Chargers. Chargers. Yeah, he was uh, he was a dominant force. First I saw Iowa and I thought... And a dominant Ooh, event. A Will Howard autograph. Oh, nice. 65 or 99. Will Howard, number one draft pick, Bears. Take him. Thanks. Nice. 
Caleb Johnson, Kansas State. So those we got there. Caleb Johnson, Arande Gatson II, or Junior, I guess, and John Rhymes Plumley. So same things last week. We're going to take a look and see if anyone's in the draft currently and where they may be going. All right, so we've done our research here. Caleb Johnson, not on the radar being drafted, definitely not this year or next year. Same thing for uh, John Ryan Plumley and Antonio Gates Jr. Now, in the 2025 draft, our autograph, Graham, um, Will Howard right now is projected to be a third-round draft pick. Hey, he's got all the next year to uh, become a number one draft pick and make mm -hmm. this card worth something. Um, Arande Gatson II is projected as a fourth round draft pick. And Dominic Levette, running back, Georgia Bulldogs, is projected as a fourth round draft pick. So those guys got all of next year to improve their stock in the 2025 draft. So we do have two players that are in the draft this year. One of them, this night's nice early risers, Bo Nix. And a couple of the mock drafts we were looking at had him going number 30, the Minnesota Vikings. So we'll see if uh, he's going to be Kirk Cousins' replacement. Do you think Bo Nick shops at Kohl's? Has tons of coal cash laying around. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. And Joe Walt is um, the number one offensive tackle in the country coming out of or coming out of college and into the draft. And right now, a uh, few of the mock drafts have him going number six to the Giants or number seven to the Tennessee Titans. Both of those teams just lost their uh, running backs, right? Saquon Barkley, where did he go? Saquon Barkley to the Eagles and Henry to the Ravens. Yeah, so they're going to need some help, that's for sure. Not have that big horse behind them, but uh, not too bad. Um, let me know in the morning how your hair is doing, okay? Got it. Class is dismissed. I will never complain about getting an autograph. But one thing I want to mention, I've mentioned this before, um, our linemen need a lot more respect than what they're given. So Joe Walt is going to probably go in the first at least 10 draft picks. He's number one at his position. And I just know him because I'm a big Notre Dame fan. And um, our two best cards so far have both been linemen, one on the offensive side, one on the defensive side, and they need more love. It's not just all quarterbacks, folks. Football's the ultimate team game. Tell me, am I right? Am I wrong? You need everyone out there playing their part. It's just like, you know, here I got, look right here. Sorry. Book game day. You know, I use a lot of these books for uh, teaching purposes, but you find out in the book Game Day with uh, Rondé and Tiki Barber, you need the whole football team in order to be successful. You think one person's going to win it? You're wrong. Same as in life, folks. Class is dismissed.